Hey everybody, what's up? It's Nick here, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys a free online application that will allow you to graph functions, plot tables, and essentially be a free online graphing calculator. The website is desmos.com. I'll put the link in the description for you guys. I don't know if I pronounced the name right, but whatever, you guys get the point. So essentially, it's an online graphing calculator that will allow you to graph all of the data that you need and solve equations and make graphs and tables and all that such. If you need more information about exactly everything it does, you can visit the website and you can view all of the little examples that they have right here. And essentially, I needed this program because I'm taking a math course in college and my professor wants us to uh, complete a program or a packet that needs everything typed out specifically and presented in a nice manner and she wants us to present it with a graph and I was looking all over the internet for a program that will allow me to print out a graph of my data and everything I found was just completely horrible and it wasn't usable and I don't feel like that I could meet the requirements of the assignment with it and after hours of searching I found this website and for some reason I went to my second space that wasn't planned but let's go ahead and and get on with the demo anyway. So I'm gonna launch up the calculator right here and this is what happens when you first launch it up. Now you can create an account with this website and the account is super simple to set up. All you do is give them your name and your email address and password and that's basically it. You can even link it up with your Google account if you want to, but once you open up the calculator, it'll bring up a window that looks like this, which will have a coordinate plane, a keyboard, and a, pl a plane over here for you typing in your equations. Now, if you need to get to the keyboard, it's not shown by default. You'll have to go down here to the bottom and click on the show keyboard button, and with that, you can type in all of your equations. You can do your x, y's, and squares, and all that, and if you need any more advanced functions, like a calculus or something you can go over here I'm not a math whiz so don't get mad at me if I don't know what I'm talking about that much because I only have a C average but I'm doing my best so anyway in order to graph the equations what you do is you go over here and you type them into your system so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna type in just a really basic equation from the project that I'm doing and uh, let me find it so negative point twelve X plus 493.6. I'm just doing a really basic one for you guys, and that's an equation right there. Now, I can't see the equation because my window isn't set correctly, so you can adjust your window by zooming in and zooming out with your scroll wheel, or you can go up to the zoom tab over here. And if you want to get more advanced, if you go up to the graph settings, you can label your axes, and you can also set the window for your x and y axes over here. Me, I'm just going to zoom in with my mouse pointer because I know where it is. It should be around the 500 mark or something. Yeah. There we go. And I'm going to put in a second equation just because. So let's type in a second equation. And there we go. So that's the equation that I needed to fill out for my project. So it's a really simple equation. Now it labels the different lines with different colors. And you can also plot any of the points just by clicking anywhere on the line. So if I wanted to find the point of intersection, I would just hover over it and I would click. And there we go. That is the point of intersection. And if I wanted to save this graph for later, I would just go up here, save the changes. And now I need to add a title for my graph. So I'm going to write a uh, I need to actually label this graph, but there we go, project one. And if I need to make any adjustments, we can change it and then resave it. And if you need to look at any of the graphs that you've already made, you can click this little button over here and that will show all of the graphs that you've made before. Now it does come with a whole ton of examples. So if you need an example graph, they have a whole bunch of them preloaded right over here, but I have the two graphs that I've made right over here. So I'm just gonna click on one. And if I need to open it up, it'll look like this and I can just open up the graph. And there we go, another graph that I made and I can also plot my intersection points. Now a cool thing about this is you can also save the graphs to an image format or you can save them to a PDF. So if I wanted to save it, I would just go over here to the share graph button and I can either email it, embed it, or save it as an image. So I'm just going to click the save it as an image button and then it'll bring it up right here and you can just save it to your desktop or anywhere that you want to save it. Now the one gripe that I had with this is that when I saved it as an image, if I had my points of intersection selected, it wouldn't save them. However, 
if you do want to save the points of intersection, you have to actually save it as a PDF file. So what you would do to do that is you just go up here to the print button and then you would make sure to save it, to print it as a PDF rather than printing it to your printer. And then once that's done, if we go over here, as you can see, this is what it looks like when we have the actual image saved. And this is what a PDF looks like. And what I did with that is I just exported the PDF to a JPEG file. And there we go. That's exactly what I needed. And all I'm going to do now is import that into my project and I'm done. So I just wanted to show you guys this uh, graphing calculator service in case you're in a similar situation to what I am and you need to print out a graph really quickly. And so it's an absolutely free service and you can use it for a ton more things, a ton more equations. So it's there. It's free. If you want it, go check it out. It's desmos.com. I'll put the link in the video's description. So thank you a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.